Hey everybody, this is Daniel, and this is my Cancer Journey uh, video diary day 10, um, I believe. Well, dear diary, uh, today I went on a little adventure. Today uh, I was able to help uh, an attorney friend of my friend Martha, who was recording a show for Saturday for the Spanish radio station. And he needed some help translating and being the the voice of his office. Hello, Farid Murad uh, from Uni Unified Legal. Uh, Unified Legal. If you need an attorney for immigration or personal injury, give him a call. And I don't have his number with me, but I'll po I'll post it on my page so you guys can find him. Um, it was really fun. It was really great. It, the only problem was that it was all the way from. Uh, if you map it out from Culver City to San Bernardino, and there was uh, a little bit of traffic coming home from there, and uh, I'm just realizing that I'm not up to those long drives right now, and it really wore me out. Um, but it was really cool to do something, especially because the uh, Arturo Acosta, who is the DJ there at uh, La Mexicana 1410. So the Saturday, if you want to hear it, I think it's on in the morning. La Mexicana 1410 AM here in uh, Southern California uh, really liked my style. He liked the way that I was uh, able to speak and communicate and, and give my ideas. And uh, he wants to possibly work with me in the future on some stuff. So that's kind of exciting. You might, you might, I might be on the radio. Who knows? But I'm realizing as the days come, and I really don't know if it's just. If it's really my body or the stress of tomorrow, uh, because I'm getting the pains are getting bigger and sharper because I'm getting one right now. And um, so if you see me moving around a lot, it's just because I'm trying to find a comfortable spot and I don't want to stop recording. But it's been hitting me a lot more these last couple of days, uh, a lot stronger, and it's really hard to, to rest. So I've been I slept a lot last night. Um, but, uh, even the Motrin is not doing its job right now. Maybe, I, I think it's maybe just time to take another Motrin and, and relax. Um, I'll have to show you my little water pump at some point, but I've had to, uh, it's like a douche, uh, pump, um, to kind of release some of the pressure because it gets really frustrating. And, uh, I was hungry, so we went to lunch and we found a super, uh, Soup plantation. I want to say super salads, but super salads is out in Texas. It's the same thing. If you're, if you're in Texas and you see this, super salads and soup plantation is the same company, just different name. We found one, and um, I had this huge salad, which was so delicious, and this really yummy uh, albondiga soup. But I think I overdid it a little bit, so my tummy is feeling it, which is not a good connection. Um, so I'm I'm hurting. And I'm, I, I almost forgot to do the video tonight, so I came and did the video so I could put, put it up and, and relax and, and rest the rest of the night. Uh, I have my trusty corn bag on the couch so I can go sit on it and sit on warm. I tell you, those that warm just really releases the muscles. <laughs> I know, I know. People are, people are commenting like, man, dude, like you really just put everything out there. I'm like, well, when you have rectal cancer, you, you really... I mean, you've got to make an ass of yourself, right? <laughs> um, but I, I today was like the last big thing on my calendar. Um, I'm a little sad because I should have been in Texas yesterday. Uh, I was supposed to fly out. Yeah, I, it finally dawned on me today. Today's Thursday because I saw the third back thir throwback Thursday, and I realized I should have. I was supposed to fly to Texas yesterday, and I would have been in Houston today. Hi, Dan. I should I would have should have been there with you today, and I'm not, and it makes me sad. Um, and it makes me sad that we went to go eat, and it was so delicious. But then I just couldn't I couldn't be there anymore because I got a cramp, and I had to go to the bathroom, and of course nothing happened. But then it just made the rest of the lunch just uncomfortable, and I feel bad because I I, I feel like I made uh, Martha and Christian leave before they wanted to. And, uh, but we, we left, and they were really cool about it. And then we came and sat down, and I, I I had to wait for Martha to leave so that I could go into the bathroom and do what I needed to do. 
because I tend to get a little loud with my moanings, and it's not from pleasure that I didn't want to hear. So, if Martha, if you hear this, and I was a little distant while you were here, it's because I really just wanted some alone time. Um, before I forget, I want to send a, a hello to uh, my friend Mark who we had dinner with last night. He was uh, so awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this prayer thing with him. So, Mark, if you hear this, I'm doing the prayer. I'll get that to you. Um, and to his mom, Patty, and his dad, uh, Wayne, um, I wish you the best. I, I'm, you're in my prayers. So just know that if you watch this, I, I'm praying for you. Um, another thing we did today, we had paperwork printed. This is the uh, power of attorney for healthcare, and uh, I'm I printed this out because I, well, first of all, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I wanted to do the paperwork and get it ready because you just never know what's going to happen. And uh, I'm naming Christian and Martha my uh, uh, the designated agents to take care of, of anything that happens to me. So if you need any of this done, uh, contact my friend Martha or Mondi. Uh, at, I'll meet you in touch with her. She can, do this. she can help you get all this done. Um, it's just so that if something should happen, not necessarily just right now with the cancer, but with anything else, I want I want I want them to know what to do with me um, because my family is in Texas and they're so far away and I don't want them to have to like get on a plane and fly here in an emergency because something happened, uh, everything's already taken care of. But uh, even if you're not going through anything, I, I highly recommend that you do the paperwork. It's just a, a sigh of relief for your loved ones that they don't make, they have to make a tough decision for you. You make it for yourself. And uh, I, I do not want to be put on life support. Um, I, I, I don't mind being brought back to life, but I don't want to be hooked up to machines uh, to stay alive. I definitely want to die with many, many. Um, don't keep me around longer than I have to. And pardon me a second. Ah. Um, so I'm going to kind of cut this one short today because I really need to just go lay down and fall back. And those of you asking, um, you can find the videos now. Um, I know, even in my sickness, I'm still promoting myself. But I'm on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, Flip, and um, there's something else. I forgot the other. Oh, uh, Pin It. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so I, I'm pinning them too. So I'm going to show you the prayer for today. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this is interesting. You created the situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and feel according to divine will. Oh, create peace and blessing for everyone involved. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will. Create, Creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. And there is the card. See that? And again, you can see these on Facebook. I'm scanning. I'm taking a picture and posting them on Facebook. And uh, thank you, Doreen Virtue. These are the Archangel Michael cards. So uh, I'm going to go rest, guys, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.